Hi guys, and welcome to Lua Lesson 2. Uh, you'll remember last lesson we were doing about io.write and print. Well, this lesson we're moving on to user input and io.read. And uh, we're going to do a bit of variables with that because they sort of fit together nicely. Okay, so this is our little program here, um, which is basically, it asks, what's your name? It then expects the user to type in a name. And then it says, hi, and then the name, and then, yeah, a new line. So, that's the basis of the program. But um, you might notice we've written name equals io.read. Well, name, well, well, what we're actually doing here is we're creating a new variable called name. Now, a variable is just a value which can be changed. So, we're creating a variable which is called name, and we're setting it equal to io.read. Now io.read, all this is, is its user input. And because Lua reads line by line, it goes right, okay, let's output what's your name. Now, let's create this new variable, and then ask the user, using io.read, uh, to input something, and store it in name. Then, it decides, okay, now they've done that, after they've done that, let's write hi, and then their name, and then create a new line. So it's really pretty simple. Um, all it's doing, asking your name, accepting a name, and then saying hi. Now, with this whole variable business, what we can also do is just, uh, we could make another variable. You can call it anything you like. I'm calling my variable 2. And uh, you can say equals 12. That would be a number. And then we could do things to it in maths. We'll do that next lesson. Or maybe the lesson after. Um, so all we're doing here is creating things that can be changed, values that can be changed. So that is really the basis of a lot of big programs. I mean, maybe they won't use io.read, but they'll accept input and then do things. It's the concepts you have to learn. Um, and io.read, it's very useful because when you're learning all the other stuff and all the other lessons, you can think, I know, let's do a bit of user input with this, make a little program out of it. Uh, I think on the text tutorial of this, I did something about a credit card number. Maybe like, what's your credit card number? Oh, it's kind of a bit caps messed up there. And then number, create a new variable number. And we go, I've just stolen the credit card number. And then shows the number. Let's just double check this works, I forgot to do that with the other one. Um, there you go. Um, oops. Let me just run it, it goes, what's your credit card number? We say, uh, 7825, I don't know, I'm making a number up. Yeah, they don't have spaces in, but there you go. And it goes, I've just stolen the credit card number, and then says the number you've inputted. I mean, it hasn't actually stolen it, it's, it's not that clever yet, but it, it says it has. Okay, uh, thanks for watching this lesson. Just have a little play around with I.read and I.write. Uh, have a nice day.